All right, so I'm going to experiment with converting the bed to being a manual adjustment and I'm still going to turn on the automatic bed leveling because that plate is not flat. It's not warped in one direction. It's basically, it's got waves in it. So if I can get the four corners at the same height uh, using the springs to make it a manual adjustment and just lock it in and then use the bed leveling, that will mean that the Z axis will actually move less during the prints. And let's see what it gives because it should be better than just straight, pure manual bed adjustment. So here we go. So the very first thing that you have to do is you have to disable the steppers because we're going to be moving the bed around a fair bit. You can raise the Z axis up if you'd like or you can leave it right where it is but basically you take off the uh, flexible top plate to expose the screws that are underneath and basically I removed the four screws. I took the spacers out from underneath. I uh, then replaced them with the springs and I put a jam nut below. It was a little bit challenging getting that last spring in. It was a little bit of a bear but uh, you're going to need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench and you will need a seven millimeter uh, nut driver or socket or wrench, whatever you've got around and uh, that'll get you there. So now I'm just going to be careful taking that bed off because I don't want to be damaging the cable or anything else. So I'm going to feed it through. There we go. I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm just going to tuck it underneath the back end of the printer so it doesn't fall off. Alright, so I'm also going to take advantage of this time to uh, check my rollers to see how they're doing and to see, okay, mm. Okay, so I can tighten that up just a little bit, just a little, little. Okay, so, and that one too. Okay, yeah, see, so there we go. You can't see that, but that roller is spinning. So I'm going to give it just a teeny tiny little tune. You know, oh, and by the way, I've got the stepper motors are turned off, so there's no risk of any uh, damage to the control circuit. Okay, so no slippage on that one now. Now this one. Okay, so there's still slippage. Okay, so I can drive both of them with my index finger and there's no slippage. And there's absolutely no movement in that. That is fantastic. Man, I am stoked about that. So now, all right, so while I've got this thing open, I'm just going to clean it up with a little bit of canned air, clean out the track, blow off all the dust, and then it collects dust. It's crazy. Boy, it's amazing my wife hasn't killed me yet with all the little bits and pieces of plastic around this place. <laughs> all right, so I want you to be able to see what I've done. I basically, I used the little spacer here as a shim to get the uh, bed back at the same height, uh, put the springs in over the screws, so the screw is threaded into this plate right here, and then I've put a jam nut on the bottom, and basically I've slid the table towards me so that it's overhanging, so that I was able to come up with a, uh, a nut driver to be able to use that to jam the uh, thread so it won't move during uh, printing or bed leveling.
So that's probably some of the best results I ever had from this printer for finish, for the consistency of the thickness of the brim. Uh, this has turned out to be a really positive experience. The, uh, the letters, the X and the Y, the edges are the crispest I've ever seen them. And I mean, wow, they're just, the detail is fantastic. But not only that, the accuracy is the best that I've ever had. So right there you see a 20, 20 millimeters point zero seven, And I would actually expect the Z to be the worst of them. But it's pretty, pretty consistent. You know, so I'm really, really happy with this. I'm definitely going to be trying other prints and keeping those uh, springs in place.